What is up, YouTube? It's your boy Risk here, back at it with another video. And this one, I'll be showing you guys the best method of getting your defensive and rebounding badges. All right, a few days ago, I uploaded a video regarding how to get your shooting badges maxed out as soon as possible, and it did really well. So, I appreciate all the support you guys showed on that. And for that, I saw a lot of questions, you know, asking about some other type of badge methods. So, that's why I'm bringing you guys this video regarding the defensive and rebounding badges. All right, so if you have not yet, make sure you drop a like and sub. And it, obviously, you know, you got to turn on the notifications if you want to, you know, be ready for videos like this right when they drop. All right. So besides that, let's get right into it. So as you guys probably know by now, this year 2K20 has a whole new badge system where you got to fill up the badge or like this badge meter, I guess you could say. It's not each individual badge and filling this up requires, you know, to do certain things. And pretty much these certain things are reflected based off your attributes for each category. And that's what I'm going to break down really quickly before we get into the actual method. So one of the questions you guys might have is like, well, risk, how would, let's say, lateral quickness or interior defense help me out in getting my badge progress? Well, let me explain. Lateral quickness will help you, you know, get better, you know, obviously lateral quickness to be able to dodge screens and earn points for pick dodging. Interior defense will help you get shot contests to then get you well defending plays. That also ties into perimeter defense, which is the same thing regarding shot contests. Anything above 50% will give you a well defended play and add to your badge progression. And everything else is pretty self explanatory. A steal, block, rebound, offensive and defensive. All you gotta do is obviously just rebound the ball, get a steal, get a block, and that will fill your, your progress bar up. And then obviously, like I said, once you fill that bar up once, you will get one badge upgrade. Alright, so it's as simple as that. So now since you guys know what you gotta do and you kind of have a general idea of how this works, I'm gonna go right into the micro game as this is where the method will be taking place. And I'll show you guys exactly what you need to do to get your badges maxed out as soon as possible. So in case you guys do not know yet, I am a pure stretch big, right? So you don't need no crazy defensive stats to do what I am doing and you know getting these methods to actually work. And you also saw my attributes are not insanely high. So now being said. The first thing you got to do is we're going to focus on steals, right? Steals, this is mainly going to be for my point guards. If you're a center, you really don't need to be doing this because you want to be in the paint for the other methods I'll show you guys later. But for my guards, right, it's pretty self-explanatory. Like in other 2Ks, all you got to do is you just got to spam X when you see the guard running up the court. All right, this year, it's really easy to get steals. So it's not like you need pick, pocket, or any badge like that to help you get those steals. You could literally have at least, as long as you have like a 60, you know, steal rating, and you don't, you don't need, like I said, no pick, pocket. You'll be able to get some steals. And all you got to do is play on pro difficulty, right? Playing on Hall of Fame difficulty this year is just not worth it at all. You're not going to get much more rep for it. That's why I prefer pro. And obviously, playing on pro makes it so much easier. You will get almost every steal, especially if you're going against, like, mediocre guards, all right? For the steal method, it's nothing too, you know, crazy. It's pretty self-explanatory. Now, moving on to the next method, this is going to be for mainly my centers, right? It's going to be offense or rebounding. All right, on the offensive end, getting these defensive rebounding badges is not much to do. A lot of people out here saying, oh, screens will, you know, get you badge progression. Good screens do not get you badge progression for defense or rebounding badges. They do give you, you know, my points and progress to, you know, your actual overall, but not to your actual badge progress. So what I tend to do is I, as you see here in these clips, I will set it, you know, one to two good screens, you know, just to get a little bit extra my points. And then I pretty much use the rest of the possession to just fight for, the, you know, positioning in the paint to get these offensive rebounds. I happen to be playing with the Golden State Warriors, so, you know, Curry and Klay Thompson tend to chuck a lot of shots, which gives me a lot of opportunities to get these offensive rebounds. That's why it's all about, you know, fighting for position, and like I said, it's nothing too hard. I am a pure stretch big, so I can only imagine, if, you know, if you're a glass cleaner, you will be able to get this position in the paint quite easily on the offensive end. And if you're like 7'3 glass cleaner, I've seen some of them, you know, just literally chuck up shots in the paint. If you just chuck up your own shots, you might be able to get your own rebounds. So if that's something you want to test out and, you know, try it out, go ahead, but I have not tried that out myself, considering I am not a glass cleaner. So that pretty much wraps it up for, you know, offensive rebounding and stuff of that nature. Now moving on to the defense, this is going to be, for mainly my centers, is going to be the blocks, right? As you see in these clips, I'm pretty much for blocks on the center. Like I said, I'm a stretch big. Remember this, guys, I'm a stretch big. I have no type of high block rating or rim protector badge at all. And I'm, I'm, it's quite easy to get these blocks, right? If you just, you know, kind of sit outside the paint and let the inside center till in the paint, once they receive the pass, they're going to take the layup no matter what. Um, no matter what happens, they're going to take that up, and it's your job, you know, to get there in time and get that block. So that's why we're picking an opponent, Try to always pick, you know, a team that has an inside center because this will make it a lot easier compared to picking a team that has a shooting center. Like, let's say, Marc Gasol, Joel Embiid, Quan Anthony Towns. Those people will just sit at the corner and shoot threes and, you know, usually make them, all right? And that's going to just hurt your badge progression all, all around. 
and, you know, besides, you know, actual blocks, like I said, the other things you want to do is going to be your paint defense and obviously perimeter defense regarding the shot contest. Like I said at the beginning of the video, anything that's above 50% contest, which is like a really lightly contested shot and possibly heavy contested, will, you know, ultimately give you a well-defended play or a good shot contest. And, you know, that's nothing too hard to do. It's just contesting the shot. They can still make the shot and you will still get points for that. Another thing, like I said, is going to be the picks dodged. Um, as a center, I'm not really going to focus on picks dodged because I'm not on the perimeter. But if you are a guard, I mean, there's nothing really special to it. You're, you're going to get picks dodged throughout the game frequently because you're going to be getting screened the whole time. So just, you know, kind of make your way, fight through the screens, and you will get points for that as well. Now, moving on to the final, you know, method in the actual my career game. It's going to be one of the easiest ones. It's going to be defensive rebounding, all right? With defensive rebounding, it's pretty self-explanatory. You're just going to get the defensive rebound, which is quite simple because, you know, the AI chucks a lot of shots and they main, mainly miss those shots, all right? And the thing about the defensive rebounds is you just got to learn how to box out, all right? Box now, obviously, there is a badge called box to help with that. But in my career, you don't really get your box out broken by the AI. So all you got to do is just hold LT and put your back against the, the AI, um, but, and this works on any position, right? You could be a center, boxing on another center. You could even be a guard. You see, this could work on guards at times, right? A lot of the times your center, you know, on your team will actually steal the rebound. But if you are a guard, as long as you box out the opposing guard, you might be able to get, you know, a rebound here and there that defensive side. All right, so that's going to be one of the easiest, like I said, easiest ways to get this method. If you're a glass cleaner, you should be getting 20 rebounds a game. If you're playing like five minutes, you should be getting 20 rebounds a game on the defensive end and maybe like five or 10 on that offensive end of the ball. And when it comes to the, the my career, this is all we really got, all right, a lot of this stuff are kind of self-explanatory, and you guys might have known, you know, how to do this already, but there's a lot of people who still don't know how to do some of these things, because some of these things, like getting a block and a steal could be tricky at times, and not even last year and early this year, a lot of people are struggling, you know, with the blocks, the steals, shot contests, and stuff like that regarding my career, right? So always remember, make sure you're playing on pro difficulty, or maybe even all-star if you want to get slightly a little bit more rep without it being too difficult. Other than these methods, I have one more method to show you guys. It's going to be in the training facility. So let's get right into that one. So in the training facility, this is where you're going to get a lot of your badge progression if you still struggle during the My Career Games, right? Because after every My Career Game, you will get four personalized drills. All right, to unlock these four personalized drills, if you do not have them yet, all it does is you got to play 10 My Career Games. You could, you know, just play them and sim out of them and you'll get it, you know, within like, you know, 30 minutes. Nothing too crazy. Now, regarding the actual drills, there's going to be two drills to give you the maximum amount of points, which is 750. But these drills, you know, tend to be really difficult for me to, you know, consistently get three stars in. So for me, I think the best drill for you will be pick reaction, right? Pick reaction gives you 700 points, which is still not the maximum of 750. But this is almost a guaranteed three stars no matter what build you are. On the other two drills to give you 750 points, it somewhat depends on your build. So if you guys are willing to try those, you could try them out yourself. But I think this is going to be the most, you know easiest you know when it comes to any type of build um in the facility so all you gotta do is pretty much it's really easy all you gotta do is you know just go to the circle and the circle is always gonna be on that right hand side so all you gotta do is just avoid the screen which is you know quite simple all you gotta do is either go above him or below him and it, nothing too crazy nothing too difficult and like i said it's gonna be as easy easy three star and this will get you 700 points when you do the drill four times, you know, just do the math. It'll be roughly around 2,800 batch progression, you know, for the four drills, which is after every my career game. Or if you're playing park, you know, after each park game, you do unlock one drill, which, you know, at times could be faster if you don't like this my career method. And besides that, I hope you guys, you know, do test this out. And I hope you guys do, do have, you know, good success with it. And if you have any issues, feel free to comment them down below. I'll be responding to any comment regarding this video. Other than that, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you have not yet, hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification button and your boy Risky. It's funny how now she be calling me back. She see that I got it, I'm stuck in the trap. 40 autos and we put it right back. 40 autos and he left in the back. I can't be trusting cause people just act. I get the money, I run it right back. The plug on my phone, I get to these backs. The plug on my phone, I'm gonna get back.